One thing I've learned about CEOs, they're all very, very different. And there isn't one model or one formula or one background. I've tried to look at different CEOs and come up with a rubric of like, this is what you look for. Here's the five questions you should ask a founder to tell if they can scale as a CEO. I haven't come up with that yet. In my, I had, I had um, three CEOs prior to starting HubSpot that I worked for. One of them was an inspirational sales leader. One of them was a very detailed uh, finance venture type person. Another was a product visionary. They could not have been more different in background and demeanor and leadership styles. And I, I tried to take the best from all of them, but I was just struck as I look back at how different they all are. So I don't think there's like a playbook or criteria that this is what a CEO should be like. I'll tell you another story, Harry. When we had about 20 employees, I joined a CEO group. And by the way, if you're a CEO out there, CEO groups are incredibly helpful. And I joined one in Boston. It was called the High Growth CEO Group. And there were nine members of it, and they were looking for a 10th. And I interviewed to join. And I largely wanted to join because one of the members was a guy named Colin Engel. And you wouldn't have heard of Colin, but he started iRobot, the room of vacuum cleaner. Hmm. And I would describe my relationship with Colin in, in two words. Man crush. I really <laughs> thought he was amazing. Uh, he was an MIT guy, started a company. It was public. It was a high flyer at the time. And I just wanted to learn from him. And, I, and, and, and there was another guy on there that had started a company called E-Inc. called Russ Wilcox. And that was another high flyer that you wouldn't have heard of, but they made the screens for the Kindles when the Kindle was first out. So it was on fire. And then there were a bunch of other CEOs of other kind of random companies. But I really liked those two guys. And seven of the CEOs were hired gun CEOs from the outside, kind of been there, done that. And two of them, Russ and Colin, were founders. And I remember at the time, 20 employees in, I wanted to seem like a CEO. I wanted to act like a CEO. And I wanted to be, you know, central casting. And what I noticed in those meetings was two of the companies were incredibly successful. Seven were kind of going sideways. The two were successful were founder CEOs. And those founder CEOs were really freaking quirky, like super quirky guys. And they're great. And the other guys acted like CEOs. And I was like, I'm quirky inside. Maybe I can just be quirky like these two. And so I tried to start being myself after that. And it paid off. Uh, trying to be somebody else has a lot of overhead to it. Um, those two had a big influence on my career. I, I love that. And uh, I totally agree with you on the quirkiness. I think, I think, by the way, I'm just going to, I'll save you the worry if you're worried, like, are you quirky? You're quirky. Me? <laughs> yes. I am not quirky. <laughs> yes, you are. 